So how do we stay positive when everything feels like it's just drowning you? It feels like anything that you contribute, any effort that you try to put in is just silenced by the negativity that's crushing down on you. This is always the loop that I used to be in before I realized how that I could transcend all of my problems and how I could honestly create my reality. Not through some woo-woo, like heebie-jeebie shit, but through actually taking action with the right mindset that would frame my actions so that I could transcend any problem that came my way. Your brain is always going to throw these negative connotations at you. And I've started to realize that we can use those as signs. We can use those as stepping stones to actually transcend anything that's thrown at us. You can't wake up early. The last thing that your brain wants to do is actually get up. If you're in a slump, if you're in a funk, if you're feeling terrible about your life, if you're feeling terrible about the progress that you're making, the fact that you're making no progress, everything in you wants to just continue to dive into comfort. And when you think about putting yourself through uncomfortable things, putting in effort, putting in hard work, it seems like the wrong way to go. And that's why everyone stays at this low frequency vibration. Anything that your mind does not want to do because it is difficult or it requires effort or sacrifice, that is what you should run toward with full focus and with full attention, right? I used to, when I was addicted to drugs and had trouble staying consistent in the gym and wasn't tracking my macros, eating whatever I wanted. I had all these dreams and visions of actually taking action and, and putting in the work that was necessary for me to achieve my dream physique, for me to achieve my dream lifestyle, for me to start a business, for me to become wealthy, for me to develop my character into someone that could impact others and inspire others. But once I thought about the work, I always shied away from it. Work cures anxiety, but our brain tells us, no, 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 the, if you're already anxious right now, the work is gonna make you more anxious. The work is gonna make you harder. That's why when people feel terrible and they think about going to the gym, they're like, no, 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 that's just gonna make me feel worse. Everyone's gonna be looking at me. It's going to be hard. But in turn, it actually makes you feel amazing. No one ever leaves the gym feeling worse. You only leave the gym feeling more accomplished because you're in that flow state. You're feeling better. Your blood is oxidated. You're awake. You're, you're alive. But everyone wants to just continue to put the covers over their problems and sink back into comfort. Comfort is the death of the soul. Comfort is the death of the soul. Any solution, you have the answer to all the solutions. You know what they are. But you have a hard time holding yourself accountable. That is where every man's downfall happens. Comfort is where dreams go to die, but our brains have tricked us into thinking, I don't feel good, I'm anxious, I feel like everyone's looking at me, I can't make any progress, I'm not doing anything to achieve the dreams that I want to achieve, but let me just keep scrolling on Instagram because it's easy. Let me just keep eating cinnamon toast crunch cereal in the morning because it's easy. I'm gonna just keep going to the gym when I feel like it, not tracking my workouts, going and just kind of going through the motions because it's easy, because we feel like taking action and actually holding ourselves accountable is going to make our life worse when in turn, it makes your life so much better. Work, authority over your situation, creation of your own reality, cures anxiety. It diminishes depression. It no longer exists when you live on this new paradigm. But when you're stuck on the backside of a pendulum of every single thing that you do is for the approval of others, you will never ever be able to unlock your true self because you're living for others. You're living in other people's reality. And that is why you feel so stuck. That is why you feel so useless, so worthless. That is why you don't feel like you can accomplish any of these aspirations that you have in your mind is because you're not living in congruence with your own superstardom. The rules are you have to create your own rules. 
If you have this business idea that you want to start, if you have this training method, this thing that you want to go accomplish, but you are only taking in information from other sources of other people, you will never accomplish the life that you are supposed to accomplish because you are not yourself. To transcend these problems, you have to fully lean into yourself, lean into your own way of doing things and create. Creation is the highest form of, of human frequency. If you are constantly just consuming, consuming, consuming and not creating anything, that is where the death of your soul comes because it is just comfort. Consumption is comfort. Boredom leads to desire, leads to vices. And that is when you get hooked on all of these things that are terrible for your mentality, ter terrible for your physical health, your physical appearance, everything. You start to view others the way that you view yourself and your world becomes a negative loop that you can never get out of. The true answer to transcending every problem that comes at you is to combat it with effort and you'll realize that the effort becomes joy. The effort becomes the eternal fulfillment. That is how you live this life. That's how all these high value men are just buzzing all day long, continuously creating things, continuously winning, continuously leveling up and getting better. It's because they are living in their own reality of constant creation, constant effort, and it doesn't actually feel like effort. Things are still hard, but it is, be, it is so joyous and so fulfilling that that is all that you want to do. Stay aggressive.